Hello, my name is Albert Orange, and welcome to March Madness. The Final Four, everyone. Uh, Miami versus UConn, top of the second half. I'm only doing the second half here. Um, and UConn just got two. Oh, man. The score at the half was 37-24 UConn. Um, and they've been having a great game, but Miami... Miami is uh, is looking to to catch up here. They got the ball right now. Let's see if they can do it here. Ten seconds on the shot clock, but it went out of bounds. Out of play. They're going to throw it in. I don't know any basketball uh, terminology here, but, um, you know, let me, let me get my dog inside just so we can say hello. Come on. Come on. Oh, Rio. Are you a good dog, Rio? Let me close the door. Are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? Um. Let's see. Miami. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, boy. I just did something there that I didn't mean to. Uh, all right, Yukon's ball. I got my dog Rio here. Rio, do you have anything to say about this game? Yukon with seven seconds left on the shot clock. Here's a no go. Got two. There you go. Sonogo? So, is it Sonogo or Seno? Yes, yeah, it's a no go, right? Um, I only know this guy's name because Jim Nance has been saying it a bunch. Miami also got two. Score is 41-26. UConn in the men's Final Four March Madness 2023 tournament. I was, uh, I was going into this game, you know, kind of rooting for UConn just because, um, you know, who wants to root for a team that calls itself the Hurricanes, you know? I mean, the Hurricanes... And UConn got three yet again! Oh my god! Um, who wants to root for, for a team called the, the Hurricanes? You know, Hurricanes, they ruin people's lives, they ruin people's homes, you know? It, it just... It makes no sense, you know? Anyways... Uh, that's a terrible reason to not root for a team. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's a terrible thing. Miami went for three. They didn't get it. And my dog is scratching his ear. Um, yes. Yes, my dog is a he. Bless you, Rio. My dog is a he. Because I always catch him licking, um, his... Pause, and that's that's only that's something that only you know male male animals do. Yukon for three doesn't get it, but the rebound is there. Yukon for two, nothing. Score is forty four to twenty six. My dog is. Seeking attention from me. I will pat him on his head and I will scratch his head because that is something that I like doing and it's something that he seems to like as well. Yukon with the free throw. Successful first shot. Miami head coach doing a some sort of tomahawk chop motion with his hand. Jordan Hawkins with another free throw. Gets it in as well. Miami head coach. Disappointed. Looking disappointed. Understandably so. I mean, his team is down 20 points. Miami! Nothing but rim. Oh, man. UConn is just... Steam rolling ahead. UConn for three. Yet again, nothing. 
16 minutes to go in the game. Miami for two. There you go. All right. So this game follows a spectacular finish to to uh, the San Diego State and uh, Florida Atlantic University game where San Diego State was down 14 points. 14 points in the second half. And they, they quietly, sneakily just caught up until they got to a uh, one-point difference behind uh, Florida Atlantic. And then, uh, what was his name? Lamont Butler with the clutch, you know, three-pointer. Was it three points? I, I think, no, it was two points. With the clutch two-pointer. Uh, buzzer beater at the very end to take his team to 72 points to Florida Atlantic's 71. And so San Diego State is moving on to the national championship. Miami and UConn. It's going to get it's going to head into commercial Miami UConn. Um uh, I was going to say the score, but <laughs> I was too busy talking to pay attention. So, uh, yeah, so San Diego State won against Florida Atlantic, 72-71, and right now it's, it's 46-26. Um, no, 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 it's not 46-26, it's, it's 46-28. All right, Google just had an update, and my dog is looking at me. Now he's looking away. I don't know what he wants. Maybe he wants to go outside, you know? Maybe he wants to, uh... I don't know. What do you want, Rio? What do you want? I'll tell you what he wants, is he wants... He, w he wanted, like, some popcorn that I was eating earlier. And, you know, I gave him a few, a few, you know, bits of popcorn, right? Just, just a little bit, not a lot, because, uh, you know, I didn't want him to, to feel, uh, you know, all, uh, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't want to give him too much, right? Because it's, at the end of the day, it's human food, it's not dog food, you know? But, um, you know... He was just kind of like staring at me and just longing for for a piece of popcorn that he hasn't had for about a minute before I gave him the last piece, you know. He's been doing that the entire time I was eating popcorn. And, uh, you know, he, that's, that's just all he wants. He just wants... He just wants human food, you know? That's what he wants. And I think he's just sad that he didn't get more popcorn, you know? Aren't you, Rio? Aren't you? Do you have anything to say to the audiences at home? No. Um, all right. <laughs> I just I just wanted to stall because um, because uh, you know uh, they cut to commercial. So I mean, what else was I supposed to talk about? I guess I could have sponsored myself by saying that you could go listen to uh, Pod by Orange, my own podcast that I've been running for two years. Uh, go listen to it on Spotify, uh, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Miami with the free throw. Uh, go listen to my podcasts on YouTube. I upload them on YouTube as well. 
Miami Norchard Amir with another free throw. 46-30 UConn. UConn with the passing game. Dribbling with urgency for a three. He gets it. My goodness. Obliterating this Miami defense game. They're going to try to catch up, though. Miami for a three. Gets it in as well. 49-33. UConn. And UConn is... I just ac accidentally touched my dog's eye. And now we walked away. Miami for a two-pointer. He gets it in with a dunk. Who, who the heck was that? That was... Uh, that was... Isaiah Wong with a dunk. All right, I got I got the Google, I got the game on on Google right now. That's how I know, how I knew his name. I just searched it up, and here's Miami with another one. No, oh, another two pointer to forty nine thirty seven. UConn. Miami is slowly, but surely, catching up. And you you hear my dog? You hear my dog? He doesn't want to be here right now. I'm gonna let him out. Uh, and we are going into commercial break. Alright. So I will pause this. And uh, I'll, I'll come back once the game starts again. Alright. I am back here. Let me, let me shut the door just a little bit. Just so... Just so it, it doesn't get as cold in my garage, okay? I got the space heater on, making a bunch of noise, all right? I hope that's not too much of a problem for you. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, UConn has had, uh, has, has held a, a, a lead over the Miami Hurricanes uh, very early on in the game. They were the first to score, first to reach a double-digit score. And, uh, you know, they've been doing well ever since. Now they got a 22... I'm sorry, not a 22. Uh, a 12-point lead over Miami. And they're going to look to score yet again. Seven seconds left in the shot clock. Here we go. UConn better make it quick. Going for two. Nothing. Nothing there. Miami. A oh, 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 man falls down. UConn's got the ball back. UConn's got the ball back. 25 seconds left on the shot clock. UConn. With the passing game. Going for two. Nothing. All right. All right. By the way, something crazy has happened in in the XFL. Okay. Actually, I'll 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 tell you later. Okay, I'll tell you later. I will tell you later. Okay. Because this is, I mean, if you follow the XFL at all. What what I have to tell you is just absolutely mind blowing. Granted, you probably already know by the time you're listening to this, but hey, I'll tell you anyways. UConn for two doesn't get it in, but the rebound is there. UConn still has it. Five seconds left on the shot clock, and he's got it. He's got the two. UConn has got fifty one, and the final four. Oh man, this is, this is Oh, I'm sorry, I have to pause that so I don't, I, I'm gonna have to censor that. Miami just, just uh, scored a three. I will, I, I need to censor that. I need to censor that. I just said a bad word and uh, I do not want that in, okay? <laughs>
Pokemon! Does get it in. I think that might have been... That might have been a, a three that he was trying to shoot there. Um, I think it was too, you know, inside the line, though. So, uh, yeah, anyways. I, I need a censor that, that uh, what, I, what I just said right there. Uh, Yukon for the free throw. He's got it. He's got it. And some dude on the Hurricane staff is trying to switch out somebody's shoes. Rushing over to the locker room. I guess something is wrong with somebody's shoes and... You know, they need a replacement. Anyways, Jordan Hawkins with the free throws. He made one, then he made another one, and now he's gonna make not another one. So UConn remains at 53. I am standing up right now. And, uh, the reason for that is because I, I don't want I don't want to sit in my chair so that because I mean every time I sit in my chair and make any movement in my chair, Miami for two, got it. Uh, my chair always makes a noise, you know, because it's made out of leather. It's made, you know. Can you hear that? I'm just doing that with my hand, you know. It's uh, it's annoying. I don't like it. Yukon, gonna cut to the middle. He's not gonna get it. Oh boy, that stayed on the rim for a long while. Miami moving across the court with some urgency. Gonna go for three. He's got it. He has got it. 53-45 Yukon, but Miami is uh, slowly but surely getting there. Nine point difference between the uh, ACC teams in the March Madness 23, 2023 uh, tournament. Here is UConn with the possession for a three. Not gonna get there, but the two. The rebound by Klingon. And he's got 55 45. Okay, Miami for another three, not going to do it, UConn's ball, UConn, Klingon has got it, passes it, and going to go for a three, nice, he's got it. 58-45, UConn. Miami's ball. 10 minutes, 10 seconds left in the game. Miami. For a three. Not gonna get it. 10 minutes left in the game. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. UConn and Miami is going to get fouled. <coughs> Miami could have could have gotten away with a steal there, but UConn is going to going to get a free throw after this commercial break. Um, okay, let me let me tell you what happened in the XFL. All right, let me just tell you. Let let me let me pull it up. Let me pull this up. Okay. The undefeated DC Defenders. Okay. Undefeated six and O DC Defenders. Went up today at the Orlando Guardians home field. The Orlando Guardians have had the largest 
losing streak of the entire league. They went in that game 0 and 6. 0 and 6. The DC Defenders the the 6 and 0 DC Defenders played the 0 and 6 Guardians. So you think, hey, you know, at this point in the season, we already know what's going to happen. I checked in that game at the, you know, sometime during that the, the third quarter, okay? And DC was leading, by, but only by two points, okay? The, the score was like, it was like 26 to 24 or something like that? 27, 25? I don't know. But they, 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 they just allowed a lot of points. But I'm not watching the game because I'm watching the the, uh, the San Diego-Florida Atlantic game for March Madness, okay? I look before this game starts uh, with, with Miami and UConn. I look at the score, at the final score, because I figured that the game might have been over, Okay? The Guardians beat out the undefeated DC Defenders. 37-36. How many people <laughs> lost money on that? You know... <laughs> I just, I I can't believe it. And here here's a Miami staffer hurrying out onto the sidelines with <laughs> with somebody's shoes. Somebody somebody desperately needed some shoes. Um, UConn leads the game fifty eight forty five nine forty left in the game. UConn, the ball is out of play now. <clears throat> but can you believe that? I mean, out of out of all teams that 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 DC could have lost to, they lose to the to the to the losingest team in the league so far. I mean, go figure, go figure. I, I I have no idea. I, I have not seen any highlights for that game. I haven't seen a single frame of that game. So I have no idea what could have gone wrong. But... It's just... It's unbelievable to me. You know? 37-36. I, I wish I could have covered that game... But I didn't want to because I just thought that DC was going to go in there and, you know, regardless if it was a home game or an away game for DC, I thought DC was just going to, it was just going to kill him. But uh, here's UConn for a three and up in the air, doesn't get it. So, I just, I, I mean, I, I looked, I looked at the score, at that final score, and I just, I, I, I literally said, like, the loudest what in my life, out loud, only my dog could hear, I don't know, maybe my mother could hear from from inside the house. I I don't know, but it was just insane. You got for three? No! Doesn't connect. But they got the rebound for two. They'll settle. 60-45. Yukon. Eight and a half to go in the game. And I think. Somebody might call a timeout. UConn fans are 
doing a tomahawk chop thing. Uh, okay. <coughs> um, so in other sports related news, uh, Seattle uh, got away with the win against LAFC. Um, was it LAFC or no, no, no? It was LA Galaxy. They tied against LAFC, but um, uh, earlier this this season, like you know, a couple of weeks ago. But uh, they they won three one against LA Galaxy. So now Seattle is at uh, three wins, one <coughs> one loss, and one tie. Or three wins, one tie, and one loss. However, however the order goes, you know. Um, and so, the Mariners are playing the Cleveland Guardians again. Uh, they won their first game of the season against the Guardians on opening day. Then they lost yesterday against the Guardians. Um, and, well, let's see. Let's see. So, so when they won, it was 3-0. Then they lost 9-4 to the Guardians yesterday. And now they started their third game in the series uh, earlier. And uh, it's the end of the sixth inning. And the Guardians are leading 1-0. So... Uh, there are four games in this uh, series. The Mariners and the Guardians are again playing tomorrow. So <laughs> let's let's just see that if 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 uh, if the Mariners can't you know put it away uh, today and tomorrow. I hope they do. You know. Um, anyways. Uh, let me charge my phone here. I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> I'm kind of... <coughs> I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, having a little bit of a rasp in my voice. Um, UConn leads it by 15 over Miami. And Miami is going to have possession. Once play starts yet again. So, Miami has the ball. They're going to dribble, pass, and pass yet again. I know these are non-descriptive terms for two. Doesn't connect with the rebound. He's got it. Miami to 47. Eight minutes to go in the game. UConn. The pass to Klingon. Who passes it. To his teammate. And there's a scuffle around at the bottom. A fight for the ball. And the refs are giving a bunch of thumbs up. Uh, what's going on here? What is going on? <laughs> what's going on? I have no idea. Okay, I guess they throwed it in. Throwed it in? Threw it in. However however it's called, you know, when they when they throw in the, the ball from like the end of the court. Miami for two doesn't get it. Went around the rim. It's like when, when like uh you know when the soccer ball goes out of bounds. And soccer, and like the the 
the team, a, a teammate uh, or, or a team member from, from the team who touched it second to last. Yukon rushing in for a dunk! He's got it in! 62 47! Uh, as I was saying, you know, like like if 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 uh, if a player from one team kicks it in out of bounds, right, in soccer, then then a player from another team, the other team, Miami for two, he gets it. Uh, the player from the other team has to throw it in back into the field, right? So it's it's kind of like that here. Right, um, you know, if the ball goes out of bounds, but it, it seems to only happen when like um, UConn for three doesn't get it. When um, when it's only at like the the like the uh, the the ends, and Miami got three. 62-52 Yukon. That seems to only happen at the very ends of the, uh, you know, the, you know, the court, right? Where, where the basket is, right? It doesn't go out. Uh, Yukon for three. No, no, no. They just wanted to pass. Maybe I should just go back to commentating over the game mix instead of Yukon! Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. The ball went out of bounds at the end of the court. I don't know if the same rule applies to when, like, the ball goes out of the, uh, the long sides of the court, right? Because that rule, the throw-in rule, applies, seems to only apply to the short ends of the court where the basket is, right? But then again, you don't really see the ball going out of bounds on the long sides of the court, is what I'm saying. So, um, I don't know if any of that made sense. Um, you know what? A, a seasoned basketball uh, viewer would, would be able to make out what I'm saying, alright? So, <coughs> I gotta give myself credit. Just a little bit of credit. All right. And uh, Miami might have gotten fouled there, or was it on UConn? I don't know what's what's happening there, but UConn has got the ball. They've got the ball. And this guy is uh, doing fantastic with the dribbling. Passes it to the middle. And oh, oh, oh. Miami player down. Isaiah Wong is helped back up. Miami head coach has got his hands to his neck. I'm going to sit down just because... I'm getting a little tired over here, all right? And also because uh, my couch doesn't make as much noise as my chair. And the Huskies got two more, 64-52, Yukon, Miami's ball. Miami with the dribbling. Pass to the inside. Makes a shot, but it's battered away. All right, let me let me close my door real quick. All right, I did that so that my garage uh, doesn't get so cold. You know, uh, Jordan Miller with the free throw he makes it in nice little net Miami score is up to 53 
And for anybody interested, oh, 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 Jordan Miller got another one. So now it's a 10-point difference between UConn and Miami, but UConn is steadily holding this lead over Miami. Uh, with nearly four and a half to go in the game, UConn can't hold of control of the ball. And so it will be Miami's ball coming up. Um, yeah, for anybody, for anyone interested, uh, the women's Final Four is coming up tomorrow. So, you know, all of you women, go support your fellow sisters. Uh, ball is going everywhere. UConn for three, doesn't get it. But the rebound is there for three, for two. He gets it in. What a nice sequence there. With 4.05 to go in the game, UConn executes order 66. And they got it. So UConn holds a 12-point lead over Miami with 4 minutes, 5 seconds left in the game, and they're about to get a free throw. Alex Caravan is going to make the shot or shots. I, I, I have <coughs> I've yet to... Uh, okay, he, he's only been given one opportunity... Op <clears throat> one opportunity there, I can't speak right now. Whereas they usually have two, right? So I don't know what constitutes two free throws or one free throw. Sometimes they do, you know, three free throws, which, I mean, I, I don't know what, what uh, causes each of those, you know. Because I just don't watch base, uh, basketball. You know, I was about to say baseball, which I also don't watch either, but I'm trying to get into it. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Um, I also don't know anybody's names. Okay? So, you know. That's just what happens when you don't do research, when you don't plan ahead. But hey, you know, I'm still here watching this Fast and Furious commercial with Jason Momoa, who I guess is playing a villain. Uh, <laughs> was that like Fast and Furious 10? Why do they keep making those movies, man? Um, which one's more annoying, the, the MCU or, or the FAFU, you know? I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't it have ended with that, uh, with that, with the one where, it, you know, that got released after, after the dude died, you know? What was his name, Paul Walker? You know, shouldn't it have ended there with family, okay? Because nothing is more important than family, but it just seems like like they just can't let go of this franchise, you know? we If, if you add family in those first, what, seven or eight films or, you know, whatever, that's all you need. Nothing is more important than family. And I just don't see this friend, this uh, Fast and Furious franchise doing it, you know? Um, I have never seen any one of those films at all, by the way. I, uh, I was just never really into them. I think I saw, like, a scene where, like... 
more like uh, I don't know. They there's like a, a couple of police cars that that went into like this garage, and they're looking for a specific type of sports car because you know that's where the suspect is. And then the doors open of the garage, and then and then like a crap ton of sports cars just all come out, you know, of the doors and. The police are just dumbfounded because, like, now how are they going to try to find who they're looking for, you know? And I remember watching that scene with my dad, you know? And, uh, you know, we were just, we were just laughing at that, at that scene and how crazy it was. Uh, Miami was going for two, but they couldn't get it. They remained 12 points behind UConn. Yukon is back with the ball to the middle. He's got the dunk and the assist. Uh, the assisted dunk. Is it a dunk if if uh, if they pass it to you and you are jumping midair and you dunk it in? Is that a dunk or do you just have to like? Do it all by yourself. I know nothing about basketball. Um, anyways, I'm not even sure if that scene that I just described was from Fast and Furious. It could have been from a completely different movie. But kind of just, I kind of what just want to watch it again. You know, just just for the. Uh, just for the uh, nostalgia, I guess. You know, if if it is in Fast and Furious, Furious, Fast and Furious. Um, if it is in one of those movies, you know, then uh, I, heck, I mean, I I might actually watch the first few, and see how I like them. Anyways, um, all right. Miami is down 14 points with three and a half to go in the game. Miami only has one timeout remaining. UConn has two. Miami is going to cut inside. And, oh my goodness, UConn intercepts the ball. UConn has intercepted the ball with three... Minutes, 10 seconds to go in the game. UConn with the passing game. And they better make it here anytime soon. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. UConn. UConn is scrambling for a three. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. Miami is back. Gonna try for two. Doesn't get it. UConn is back. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. UConn's ball. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. What's going to happen? Oh boy, what's going to happen? He's going to go for three. No three. Two. Two. Oh boy, the rebounds are crazy. And there is two minutes left in the game. Miami better hurry up because they are down 60 points. Try to go for three, but no chance, no luck. He could have had a chance. Uh, Isaiah Wong tried to go for a three. And he could have had a chance because he he actually trains for this type of stuff, right? Surely. Here's a free throw from Isaiah Wong. He gets it in. But uh, he just he was unlucky with that with that uh, attempted three pointer. Um, and another free throw gets it in as well. 
So now they're down 14. Um, and just like San Diego was against against Florida Atlantic, now they're down. No. Oh, okay. Now they're down 13. He made a third free throw, which again I don't know. I don't understand what you need to do to get there, but uh, UConn just got two. UConn got two, 72-57, Miami for three, doesn't get it in, a minute and a half to go in the game, and UConn might win it. So close to victory, UConn, 15 seconds left on the shot clock, dribbling, dribbling, 7 seconds on the shot clock. They better hurry it in. Two. They got it in. And Sonago. Sonog Sonogo. Son Sonogo. It is a bit slow to get up, but he seems fine. Let's see what happened. Uh oh. Swap to the face. It'll be okay. Oh, look like it. It uh, went right at his nose, and um, that was him making making the shot as well. So it was a little difficult. Must have been difficult for him to to make that shot, but he's gonna make that free throw. Bounces against the rim. In a minute six seconds left in the game. Coming up after this free throw. And what's happening right now? What is happening? The, the head coach is hugging a few of his Miami players. Sonogo with another free throw. Doesn't get it in. Ball goes out of play. And there's a bunch of Miami Hurricane players that are almost, almost accepting defeat. And under a minute to go in the game, a three. Not connected, but the rebound and loses control of the ball. Yukon's ball coming up after this. A firm lead over Miami. As the score is 72 57, but Miami with a few free throws to possibly. Give him a chance. And he's got one in. 72-58. And they're cutting to an old guy wearing a Yukon basketball shirt. By Nike. And it's 72-59. Miami only down 13. 45 seconds to go in the game. Yukon. Just might run out the clock here. 15 in the shot clock. 32 in the game clock. Just running out the clock. This dude is not moving at all. And <laughs> I think the ref just kind of got fed up with that. Uh, Miami's ball. 25 seconds left in the game. Miami tries to get it in. A three. Gets nowhere. UConn's ball. 12 seconds left. 10 seconds left. UConn. The fans are celebrating. Five seconds. And the Miami Hurricane players are walking out. And that's the game. UConn. 
wins in their fifth. Uh, no, no, that's I'm not. I'm just I'm reading that wrong on the graphic. Uh, they are going to their fifth national championship appearance after winning against the Miami Hurricanes. 72-59 in Houston, Texas. And now UConn is going up against San Diego State on Monday. Uh, at 9.20 Eastern Time. 9.20 Eastern Time. That's That's got to be 6.20 Eastern Time, right? Um, I will hopefully be doing a, a commentary... Uh, over that game. Uh, UConn has never let Miami take a lead in this entire game. And this was a, a, a great win for UConn. The University of Connecticut they got it. They got it in. And there's Adama Sonogo. 21 points. 9 out of 11 field goals. 10 rebounds. Great game by this man. Uh, sending or helping his team go to go all the way to the to the championship. Fantastic. Fantastic game. Uh, by UConn. And the UConn fans are celebrating. They are crying. Uh, well, one one woman appeared to be crying. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Dan Hurley, the UConn head coach, with uh, with his uh, with his jacket, his suit jacket on, his shirt. His final four uh, uh, thing on his lapel, you know. Great game. Great team that he's cultivated. They're going to move on to the national championship against San Diego State. University against the Aztecs, the Huskies versus the Aztecs. Um, anyways, I, I don't know what else to say uh, about this game. <coughs> it was a great game. You know, not not a bad game. Uh, Miami just couldn't catch up to uh, to UConn. I don't know what their their shortest lead was over Miami, but. They just, they never let them uh, get the lead. So, anyways, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this, uh, this, this game. Let me check in on, on, on the Mariners just, just really, real quickly. Uh, and it's, it's the bottom of the eighth inning and <laughs> the Guardians are still leading the Mariners 2-0 this time uh, let's 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 hope that the Mariners can can turn it around uh, we don't wanna you know already go into a uh, an, uh, under 500 percentage um, anyways that's the game everyone I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed listening to this I sure uh, enjoyed uh, commentating over this game even though my voice is, you know, starting to, to lose itself, you know. Uh, it's very, very good to, uh, to watch a March Madness game, you know. Uh, so I will be commentating over that championship. Um, I will also be doing uh, a commentary tomorrow, hopefully, when the St. Louis Battlehawks play the Houston Roughnecks. Alright, so I'll be doing that 
I'll be doing uh, the March Madness Championship, and then after that, uh, you know, some more XFL, and then hopefully some USFL. Huh? Sounds good. All right. So, anyways, that's gonna be the game. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have a good one. And by the way, check out my podcast, Pod by Orange, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, and YouTube. All right, have a good one.